Planet Earth, home to all life as we know it. It's home to me. Hi, I'm Ben from Explorer Dome. It's home to you. It's home to all animals, plants, fungi, bacteria, plasmodial slime moulds. It's a weird and wonderful collection, but is it unique? Is our universe a desert or a jungle? Is life rare? Are we alone? Or is space teeming with alien creatures? Well, let's think about what life needs. Now, here on Earth, we have a large moon, and that keeps our orbit strong and stable as we travel around the sun. Our sun is reliably middle-aged, and any outbursts of life-threatening radiation are thankfully rare. It bathes us in heat and light, but we're not too hot, we're not too close. We're not too cold, we're not too far. We are just right. We're in the Goldilocks zone, a habitable zone around our sun, where water can exist as a liquid. And perhaps the most important ingredient for life is water. The first life on Earth could have evolved in shallow seas or rock pools. Maybe it evolved deep down underwater, not using energy from the sun, but using energy from beneath the Earth. Hydrothermal vents gushing hot water into the seas and fueling a whole ecosystem. There are crazy creatures down here. Structures like these could exist on other worlds. Join us next time. We're going to explore the fringes of the Goldilocks zone. Venus and Mars. Could either of these alien worlds host life?